Welcome to The Price Check. I'm Pierce Dietrich. Let's look at the salaries for Talladega. Whose salary jumped up this week? Justin Haley, 5,600 up to 9,400. Whoa, DraftKings, take it easy. I get it, he's starting in the back. And he won a plate race, but that was because of lightning. And you know what they say, lightning doesn't strike twice. Eric Almarola, 7,000 up to 9,200. Looks like DraftKings did their homework. Or they looked at the stat sheet for three seconds. Before the last two at Talladega, he had a streak of eight top tens. Alex Bowman, 8,300 up to 10,200. I don't understand this price. He's not starting in the back, and he's not particularly a good plate racer. Whose salary dropped this week? Kyle Larson, 11,100 down to 8,400. Plate racing is like Superman on planet Krypton. Kyle Larson has no advantages this weekend at Talladega. Kyle Busch, 10,800 down to 8,200 since 2017. Over those 19 plate races, he has three top tens and an average finish of 22nd. Martin Truex Jr., 9,700 down to 7,600. You think Bush is bad? Over those same 19 races, he has two top tens and an average finish of 23rd. Favorite play of the week, Denny Hamlin, 10,500. He's the best plate racer in NASCAR. He knows when to push, he knows when to bail, and he knows when the time is right to go for it at the end for the win. He has spidey senses at the play tracks. Joey Logano, 7,900. Team Penske has won the last two plate races. They should have won the Daytona 500. Joey Logano should have won the Daytona 500. He's the second best plate racer in NASCAR. All right, guys, check out DK Nation for all your DFS information and needs. If you got NASCAR questions, find me on Twitter, at Race for the Prize. I am Pierce Teacher. Catch me on DK Live.